It's been a long day, hasn't it? But we've been a long time getting here. It's been a long time for so many of us to listen to politicians to represent the interests of the ordinary people that live in our communities. It's been a long time coming to see a leader of a Labour Party that says he's proud to stand with trade unionists, he's proud to stand on picket lines with striking workers. It's been a long time coming that we've seen a Chancellor, a Shadow Chancellor, soon to be a Chancellor, talk, talk about the issues of working class people and making the people at the top pay their taxes instead of taking all the money from the people at the bottom. It's going to be a massive Massive culture shock for those people at the top of the establishment when she has the final nerve to call that general election and we because this is our job and this is why we're here today apart from putting money in the buckets when you're leaving of course don't forget to put your money in the buckets because the LRC um, the LRC has got a massive job to do hasn't it We've got a massive job to do. Our trade unions have got a massive job to do. The community groups that we work alongside have got a massive job to do because we've got to make sure that people understand that change that's coming that will benefit them. It's about housing. It's about ending zero-hours contracts. It's about having decent pay. It's about saying no longer will the country put up barriers to refugees fleeing from war and persecution, but Britain will become a welcoming country for those people fleeing from war and persecution wherever they come from in the world. And I also want to say this, because I think the trade union movement has got it wrong, and you won't be surprised, sometimes with the Bakers Union there's a little bit of odds. Never mind freedom of movement from across Europe, Freedom of movement is a human right no matter where you live in the world and we're all entitled to go and live anywhere that we see fit where we feel that will improve the lives of ourselves and our families. Do you know, why is it? Why is it that billionaires can travel freely around the world? They can travel anywhere they want and nobody ever says, oh, they've, they've taken away our houses but yet it's them. It's them that buy up our council estates, isn't it? And build their investment properties. That's the reason why there's no housing for people to live in. That's the reason why the people are struggling and they're living on the streets. It's nothing to do with a migrant or a refugee. It's everything to do with the rich and the elite and the powerful who have been given the ability to take our homes away from us so they can use it to maximise the profit at our expense. And it's time that ended. And that's why, that's why we have to take our arguments into our community so they understand the division that they want to breed between us is to enable them to maintain their power over us. Well, no longer are we prepared to be divided because it's an irrelevant where you were born. What's important is what you contribute. And when we stand together, we are unstoppable. And that's why, that's why, when she calls this election, and we go out there onto those streets, knocking on those doors and explain to people the change that we offer. We, we will see a victory that will bring in policies that will rebuild our National Health Service and not just make it free, but make it national alongside a railway that will be nationalised and owned by us, benefiting us making sure that when we build houses, they are council houses. People able to live in a home that's decent and a right as a human being. And it doesn't matter whether you go to work or whether you're not in work. Because you know what? A Jeremy Corbyn government won't stand by on the other side and let people live in poverty. It won't force you to use food banks because it'll bring in policies that ensure we, we support one another because that's what socialism is all about. That's what we do. And that's why when this election comes and we go out on those streets, those people will say, 
Now I know what real labour stands for. Now I know why my neighbour is my neighbour. And now I know what I can do to change and improve the lives of others. I can go out there, I can vote Labour, I can elect a Corbyn government. Solidarity. Yeah.